Yeah. I love attitudes, but not the drama. Nope. You made it to my heart. I'm the line, so I'm a. So don't worry, like him, you leave my son. I'm a. You know my charm, you say it brings power. Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome back from spring break. I'm Astrid Ernesto, and we're excited to bring you another edition of PHTV. I'm Yasmin Contras, and we have a full show to start our last 11 weeks before summer. Yeah, that's right, 11 weeks, and we are counting. Now let's get to some announcements. We want to start off today's show with a reminder for all students about our schedule this week. This Wednesday and Thursday, you will have your usual Monday and Tuesday schedule. Wednesday will be periods 2, advisory 4, and 6, while Thursdays will be period 1, 3, 5, and 7. This is the last week of our scheduled change, so don't forget. Speaking of schedules, it's hard to believe, but we only have two weeks left in third quarter. That means final transcript grades in all your classes will be submitted in two weeks. To hopefully get you encouraged to end the quarter strong, PHTV's own Germina Rodriguez and Astrid Onesto made a segment for you. Let's roll it. Don't you two have homework? There's two weeks till the end of the quarter. Make sure you get your stuff done. Let's all try and end this quarter on a high note. Now let's look at news from the Future Planning Center. The PHS local scholarship application is now available and is due by Monday, April 10th to the Future Planning Center. You can download the scholarship application from the Phoenix High School website. See Ms. House if you have any questions. And now, oh, <laughs> are you planning or are interested in attending SOU Preview Day? Permission slips are due by tomorrow, and the trip is this Friday from 8 to 2. This is for 10th through 12th grade students only. Stop by the Future Planning Center for more information. Behind in class, don't forget that Phoenix High School is now offering tutoring on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school in Mrs. Pond's classroom. Our tutor is from SOU and he is able to help in all subjects, but especially math and science. See Mrs. Pond in the ASAP room if you have questions. This announcement is for all seniors. They are updating our records for graduation. So please see Myra Silva, office manager, to let her know who will walk you at graduation. Also, Jostens will be here on April 20th to deliver your cap and gown during lunchtime. If you have not already made graduation orders, time is running out. Go to jostens.com and place your order now. Speaking of seniors, if you have yet to turn in your senior picture for the yearbook, the deadline has passed. You can still turn in your senior picture, just be aware of the $35 late fee. If you still need to turn in a senior picture for the yearbook, please come talk to Mr. Rhodes. Speaking of senior pictures, we are in need of senior baby pictures for the senior video. The deadline for submitting baby pictures will be Friday, April 7th. To help you remember this Friday deadline, PHTV's own Albert Funes and Joshua Devon made a segment for you. Let's roll it. Seniors. Don't forget to turn in your baby pictures. April 7th is the deadline. Email your pictures to the Phoenix High School yearbook at gmail.com or drop them off at Mr. Rhodes' door. Get it done soon, seniors. Get those baby pictures in so we can have a great senior video. Speaking of seniors, last week your advisor gave you a senior quote and signature sheet. Please turn those in to Mr. Rhodes as soon as possible. Also, prom tickets are now available at the front office. They will be sold for $20 at the front office and $25 at the door on the night of prom. Prom will be held on Saturday, April 22nd from 8 p.m. to 12 a.m. and will be held at the Ashland Hills Hotel and Suites. Buy your tickets now at the front office. And now a message for Mr. Cornett. AP exams are one month away, so prepare. Thank you, Mr. Cornett, for that reminder. Another event you can all prepare to come for is our spring choir concert. Our PHS spring concert will be Wednesday, April 5th at 6.30 p.m. in the Rose Theater. Our choir will be 
fundraising for their trip to Six Flags in May, and dinner will be served. Another awesome event to check out will be this Sunday, April 9th, our Varsity Brain Bowl team will be taking on Eagle Point in the regionals finals. The match will be shown on SOP TV at 5 p.m. Castle McKeel is in the beginning stages of his senior project, will be, which he will implement this summer in the countries of Lebanon and Egypt. The theme is soccer for Syrians. He is collecting boys and girls soccer materials, clothes, any sorts of shoes, cleats, or clothing, or sporting items. He will take your donations to Syrian refugees living in extreme poverty in Lebanon. He will also be taking soccer balls and clothes to the boys' orf orphanage in Egypt, where he lived last year and played soccer with the boys. There is a box facing the attendance window where you can bring your donated items during March, April, and May. Your small acts of kindness will bring a smile to the faces of those who suffer greatly. Please help Kassam with his senior project and donate to Soccer for Syrians. Also, a reminder for all my future My Choice members to please be ready for the third lesson this Wednesday, April 5th. On Tuesday, April 4th, that's tomorrow, the Job Corp will be at Phoenix High School to give you a presentation at lunch for any students who are interested. If you'd like to see the job, see the jobs, the job course presentation, please see Mrs. Hoxley. PhDB's Spencer White created a segment to give you more details. Let's roll it. Hi Phoenix High School, I'm here with McLean from Northwest Youth Corps. He's here to tell us a little bit about how you can get involved in a paid summer position with Northwest Youth Corps. Yeah, thank you. Um, so yes, as she said, my name is McLean and I'm the Community Engagement Resource Steward for the Northwest Youth Corps, which is based out of Eugene. So with our summer programs, it's anywhere from 15 to 18 years old. We'll be working with different land management agencies that will give us the opportunity to get hands-on experience in a paid position where you go camping and work at different remote locations across the Pacific Northwest or the Youth Corps communities, which means you're working within a community, but you return home at night. Uh, two of the programs that we have offered this summer are paid positions up to $300 a week and $50 in bonuses that you can get in a five-week program. So one of the other benefits that you can get through the NYC summer programs is high school credit. There's high school credit in natural sciences and in physical education. So hands-on, paid, camping, I love it all. How do I get involved? So what you need to do is go to nwyouthcorp.org. There'll be a prompt in the upper right-hand corner and it will say apply now. You can click that, the application system is completely online and you'll get a prompt during the application process and that will prompt you to call into the office and we'll help you complete the end of the application online. Awesome, or you can come and see me, Mrs. Hoxley in 302 and I can answer any questions. Uh, so I would like to apologize, we're having some technical difficulties with our teleprompter, but the show must go on. So um, Dark Job Corp looks like a great opportunity to check out during lunch. And speaking of great opportunities to check out, keep your eyes peeled for Carnival Thursdays at lunch in the Commons. The Relay for Life team will be having games selling candy or other yummy snacks as a fundraiser for our school team. You can still join the PHS Relay for Life team also. We're meeting Tuesdays at lunch in Mrs. Green's room, so come and join the fun. If you're looking for something fun, then, check, then come check out the Pear Blossom Parade in Medford. Phoenix High School's very own marching band will be performing. For more information about the parade, PHTV's Dustin Bourdon, William Nathy, and Dane Johnson made a segment. Let's check it out. Pear Blossom Parade. Saturday, April 8th at 11 a.m. in downtown Medford. Parade starts at Betty and Central. Come watch our band play. Everyone be sure to check out the marching band at the Pear Blossom Parade this Saturday. Attention students who have expiring first aid and CPR cards. Those of you who took emergency care two years ago now have an expired or that is about to expire. If you are interested in staying current in your cert certification, Mrs. Campbell will be having a renewal course just for you after school on Wednesday, May 17th. Please, please see Mrs. Campbell for more details to sign up. For those of you interested in running for AS, an ASB position for the 2017-2018 school year, applications for president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary are now available at the front office. Please complete the application and return it to the front office by Monday, April 24th. Also, be sure to turn in your guest to Mr. Carvalho by Friday for the baseball-softball run-scored competition. 
Guess the total combined runs that our varsity softball and baseball teams will score combined in the month of April. The winner will get a gift card. See Carvalho to enter. Let's turn our attention now to our spring sports teams and see how they fared over our break. Starting off today with softball, our Pirates softball team started their season over break at the North Medford Spring Invitational, Spring Break Invitational. Unfortunately, our Lady Pirates lost, lost each game played, but we'll have another chance this Friday with a doubleheader against Cascade Christian at U.S. Cellular Field. Good luck this Friday, Lady Pirates softball. In baseball action, over the break, our Pirates baseball team competed over at the North Valley Spring Break Invitational. Our Pirates dominated winning all three games by six runs or more. Great jobs, Pirate Baseball. Our Pirates baseball team will be playing at Culver Field on Tuesday and has a doubleheader on Friday at U.S. Cellular Field. Good luck, Pirate Baseball. In track and field action over the break, our track and field teams competed at Eagle Point on Friday, March 17th. This was the team's first full meet and they did a great job representing our high school. The girls team won the meet by 49 points, while the boys fell by just 8 points. Great start to the season, Phoenix Track and Field. Following that performance, our track team competed this past Saturday at Douglas High School. Our girls team finished second in the 20-team meet. We have also had some impressive individual performances. Joseph Grace set the sophomore class record in javelin, and Sienna Bauer set the freshman class record in high hurdles. Keep up the great work, track and field. In girls golf action, on March 22nd, our varsity team played at the Centennial in the Cascade Christian Tournament. The team did well with a fifth place, fifth place finish with Maricela Powers and seventh place finish from Bella Lopez. The girls' next tournament will be Tuesday at Eagle Point Golf Course with all girls participating. Be sure to come out and support our girls' golf team. Keep up the great work, lady golfers. In boys' golf action, our boys' team had a couple of impressive performances over break. Camden Chose and Callan Peterson both shot the best round tournament scores at Cascade Christian's Invitational, held at Centennial Golf Course on Wednesday, March 22nd. Camden shot a 75 and Callan shot 94. Great job, boys golf. All right, all we have left is trivia for today's show. Last week's trivia question was, what day and time will the band concert be taking place? And the winner is... Isaiah Champagne in Miss Walkups. Congrats, you said Friday, March 17th. See Mr. Rose to pick up your Dutch Bros gift card. This week's trivia question is, when do seniors need to turn in their baby pictures into Mr. Rose by? Please write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and advisor's name and place it on the envelope on Mr. Rose's door. Be sure to check our, our online platform, pagetvnews.com, and as always, stick around for the pledge. This has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news. Yeah, I'm tired of it, bro.